Hello, everyone. My name is Xiaodong Zhong. I'm from Siemens. I'm happy to talk about a paper that we recently published in JMRI, focusing on free breathing, pediatric liver, R2-star, and PDFF quantification. This is a collaboration with the UCLA and the Nationwide Children's. Proton density fat fraction, or PDFF, and R2-star are important biomarkers for liver fat and iron evaluation. Breath hold 3D multi echo GRE is widely used for this application. However, conventional Cartesian methods typically require breath holding, therefore are difficult in pediatric subjects. For free breathing liver PDFF quantification, 3D stack of radio acquisition with gradient delay correction was proposed previously. Recently, an improved method with self-gating motion compensation was proposed for PDFF and R2-star quantification and was validated in adults. However, its performance in pediatric subjects needs investigation. The purposes of this study were to validate the proposed method in the motion phantom framework and to further evaluate it in pediatric subjects using a breath hold 3D Cartesian method as a reference. This slide summarizes the PAL sequence and the reconstruction of the proposed method. This multi-echo GRE stack of radio imaging sequence consists of the gradient calibration acquisition module and the imaging acquisition module. The gradient calibration module acquires the calibration lines crossing the K-space origin in the Kx and the Ky directions, and then performs um, the cross-correlation to calculate the gradient delay shift terms and uh, uses them uh, to correct the imaging k-space data later. The imaging acquisition module contains the self-gating signal sampling inherently. As shown in this illustration cartoon, when the k-space data sampling crosses the k-space origin, the data at the origin is sampled to form the self-gating profile. We can then apply an acceptance window to select the case-based data acquired near the end expiration to uh, reconstruct the radio images. PDFF and r star maps are then calculated using a multi-step adaptive fitting technique. Two other sequences were used as reference standard. One is a 2D Cartesian multi echo GRE with the inline mono-exponential T2 star fitting and the offline R2 star conversion. The other one is a 3D Cartesian multi echo GRE supporting the same inline and offline multi-step adaptive PDFF and R2 star fitting and the offline mono-exponential R2 star fitting. The motion phantom framework and the phantoms are shown on this slide. The motion state was capable of moving in the superior inferior direction according to the pre-recorded waveforms. Four vials with different ferromoxidal concentrations provided a range of other star values and were the main phantoms to evaluate. The holder filled with the gel and the salon bag were for supplementary results. Motion phantoms were imaged using a Siemens 3T scanner at UCLA. First, the motion was turned off. The reference 2D Cartesian GRE acquisition was performed, followed by the proposed 3D stack of radio acquisition. The imaging parameters were listed in the table on the right. Then, the phantoms were moving in the SI direction, and the 3D stack of radio acquisition was repeated and reconstructed without and with self-gating. For statistical analysis, other star values of the four files were fitted with a weighted linear model. 16 pediatric subjects were scanned on the Siemens 3T scanner in nationwide children's. Whenever possible, the pediatric subjects were instructed to hold their breath, and the reference single breath hold multi-echo GRE 3D Cartesian acquisition was performed. Next, a free breathing 3D stack of radio acquisition was performed and reconstructed without and with self-gating. Imaging parameters were listed in the table on the right. Two independent observers, each with 12 years of research experience, 
performed the data analysis following consistent guidelines. They first independently made an inclusion-exclusion decision of subject groups for statistical analysis due to serious respiratory motion artifacts in reference results. They then uh, placed the two RIs carefully on the left and the right lobes of one mid-level liver slice to avoid vessels and the serious artifacts. PDFF and other star values in these two RIs were measured and averaged. For statistical analysis, ANOVA was performed to test the demographics uh, differences between the inclusion and the exclusion groups. ICC was calculated to assess inter-observer agreement. Planned Alderman analysis was performed to compare the reference and the proposed results. Motion phantom results are shown on this slide. The reference R2 star results are shown in Figure B, acquired by the 2D Cartesian GIE. The influence of a ferromoxetol concentration on the R2 star values was significant. If we look at the Figure C and the Figure D in the middle row, these results were measured at two different slice locations when the phantoms were stationary, and we did not observe significant differences compared to Figure B. For the R2 star values measured on moving phantoms in the bottom row, ungated results in Figure E showed a significant positive bias of 64.3 1 over second, while the gated results showed no significant difference compared to Figure B. For the in vivo subjects, two observers made independent and consistent inclusion-exclusion decisions. The demographics information of all subjects and the two groups is listed in the table. Multivariate ANOVA with gender, age, and BMI showed no significant differences between the inclusion and the exclusion groups. Example images and maps for a two-year-old patient in the exclusion group are shown on this slide. The pixel intensities on the sixth echo images of the ungated results show the strong signal attenuation as pointed out by the blue arrows, especially near the liver dome. Uh, this led to an apparent elevation of Ardo star values in the Ardo star maps as marked by the red arrows. This were corrected in the gated results with self-gating. In contrast, we did not observe a similar comparison for the PDFF maps. As a reference, the self-gating signal curve was shown at the bottom. The results of an 11-year-old patient who held the breath well during the breath hold acquisitions are shown here. The reference maps of the breath hold Cartesian acquisition are shown in the two upper rows. We had observations similar to the previous example. For inter-observer agreement assessment, ICC showed significant excellent agreement between two observers for all cases. ICC was a 0 0.99 for PDFF and a 0 0.90 for Ardu star. Blend Alderman plots are shown on the right uh, with the two different colors representing two observers. Ungated free breeding stack of radio R2 star results showed a mean difference of 18.5 1 over second and a relatively large limit of agreement in figure A. In contrast, the gated free breeding stack of radio R2 star showed a reduced mean difference of 3.6 1 over second and reduced the limits of agreement in figure B. For PDFF, both ungated and gated results had similar mean differences and the limits of agreement. In conclusion, in this study, 3D multi-echo stack of radio with the self-gating motion compensation for R2 star quantification was validated in the motion phantom framework. The evaluation in pediatric subjects showed good agreement in liver PDFF and R2 star quantification using this proposed method compared to the reference results of a breath hold condition technique. This proposed method may have great potential to be used in clinical pediatric liver imaging. I would like to thank my Siemens colleague Ning Jin, the funding support, and the JMI editorial recommendation for this paper. Here are some additional declarations for this paper. At last, 
Thank you for your attention.